Hello YouTube. Hey, last year I was asked to do a video on my dive kit and my camera gear. Um, it's taken me a few months to get around to it, but here we go. This is the camera which I use in my underwater housing. It's a Sony PXW FS7. It's one of Sony's digital cinema cameras. It's getting a bit long in the tooth now. I think it came out in 2014. It's discontinued in 2019-ish. But it's the only one that fits in the housing that I've got, so I'm kind of stuck with it. Um, this is the Sealux underwater housing for the FS7. It's a German company. The website seems to have gone dark, so I don't know if they've succumbed to the economic conditions. Obviously, this has to go in here and you need to strip it down so the handle has to come off the top handle has to come off all this governs and basically strip it down so you've just got the body and the screen the screen fits under here and the body slides in from the back so this has to be stripped down put in here so In sort of true Blue Peter fashion, here's one I prepared earlier. So this is it put together. Um, as you can see, a um, few things have added on to it. I've got video lights. These are the Orca Torch D910V. I've got a pair of those. My sight is pretty good on the whole, but I need reading glasses. So therefore, to see a monitor underwater, I need a magnifying glass and that's what that does. I've got a couple of GoPros mounted on here, just back up and also gives me different views. The housing's basically manually controlled, the main ones though, on and off, focus, ND filter, white balance. And on the other side we've got the zoom, if the, the lens has got a zoom. So this is configured at the moment for a macro, well it's, it's kind of a macro setup. The the lens I've got in here at the moment is the six the Canon sixteen to thirty five. It doesn't quite fit in this, um, so that when when you when you zoom out it vignettes a little bit. But I'm just trying it as a close up lens at the moment. I normally use the Canon one hundred mm macro lens for close ups, but sometimes it's a bit tight. Something I've, I'm trying out at the moment is um, Speed Booster and hopefully the Speed Booster is going to give me give me back the wide angle lens because there's a crop factor involved when you put it on so you, you get a crop factor about 1.6 so hopefully Speed Booster is going to give me that wider field of view back so that's something I'm going to try out in the future. The floats, they were just found on the beach. This, this um, cover allows me to basically keep the light off the, the monitor it's just there's just a a magnifying glass built into into perspex housing the plastic cover is just an old plant pot i've cut down um this bracket was made just to get the gopros out the way up higher um trim weights attached various places uh, this has got the naughty cam vacuum system so down here you basically pump out the air which basically compresses all the seals and you've got an indicator light to see you know the state of the pressure and so i don't think it really works in the water but it's a good thing beforehand that you pump it down a couple of hours beforehand it, it sits there and, and as long as it's green then it's still got a negative pressure in it, inside it and that it gives you a lot of reassurance when you've got a green light there. So as I said, this is a macro port on the front on the front here. You know, I don't know if you can see the lens inside. It's got so, there's some extension rings so you can vary the distance depending on the size of the ring, the size of the lens you've got inside it. And um, this is the dome port that goes with wide angle lenses. Um, the lenses have to, when you put in the house when you put the housing together the camera goes in first and then you take the front ports off and then you install the lenses after the camera's in. Uh, you can see 
on the 100 mm lens, I've got that there's a single gear because it's only a single single function lens. The the zoom lens has obviously got two gears. You basically engage the gears inside to, to get control. It's an electronic control of the iris, and so therefore you need a actual intelligent adapter to give you control of the iris. That you don't have a direct connection with these lenses. Obviously, it's quite bulky. It's neutrally buoyant in the water, and, and all these things are set up so that if I take this off, the light off, it, this is neutral in its own respect and so therefore it doesn't affect the, the housing overall. So I can take each bit off and the housing should say, stay neutral. I mean the other bits and pieces I use, um, I've got a small cradle that, that fits in there. Um, so if you're doing backlighting, so it gives you a kind of quite tight spot, so if you're shooting something you can put a light from behind. Obviously you can see the, the black plastic thing that on there which is to hold my video light if I'm using handheld and the selfie stick. The only other kit really that's special, or not special, but is the full face mask that I used to capture, capture my audio. So the it's a uh, most comm systems it's a push to talk, this is a permanently on, so the rec there's an audio recorder which I'm actually using at the moment to record the sound here, it sits in that box, it's permanently on and there's a microphone that you can just see it tucked in there, uh, so it's just, it's a stick it in the box, switch it on and leave it running. Um, so that's the Boteas Guardian face mask. Uh, I've got a quick release, which means I can disconnect it. I've got a bracket on here, which I've made effectively, which is just a piece of plastic clamped onto the side, which I could mount the GoPro and get the headshot if I wanted. Good mask, excellent mask. Probably my favorite. Um, I've also, I also use on occasion when I need to talk to the Surface, I've got a comm, Surface comm system, so I've got the Interspero Diveator 2 with a buddy phone. It's the same idea, microphone inside. This one is a push to talk. It's really useful if, you, if you're trying to control something, control a shot or control action happening, then being able to talk to other people is a real good thing. Occasionally I do macro shots underwater and it's nice to have a tripod. This is a wee bit bulky. Um, it's an old fashioned, well it's not old fashioned, it's mechanical fluid filled head. Um, pretty much waterproof. It's o-ring seals and filled with oil so it's pretty much bulletproof. It's sitting on a top hat which is, I've taken the base off it and then I've extended it with some legs. I've got some brackets on here which I use to basically load up with lead. This makes it really heavy to lift about, so I've usually got a lifting bag. I can reposition the camera and then drop it down and just set things up. You can see in the footage here that I've got it set up on the side of a bank. The, the only problem with this is you, you've got to have a certain amount of height, so usually it's restricted in what you can photograph. That's pretty much it. So don't use it very often, but it's really good. Gives, it allows you to sort of follow sort of small movements, which is kind of difficult sometimes in the water. If you look at most of my videos, I don't, haven't used the big camera much, but that was I think specifically what I was asked about. Um, mostly I use GoPros on my selfie stick, which is just a old bit of fishing rod and some a bracket mounted on the end so the, the, the GoPro sits there, the legs basically to stop it from falling over and it's weighted at this end so I can put it down. I can, it just something that's evolved so I tend to make stuff and put stuff together. A lot of the kit I buy is second hand so this is, this none of this is new, this has all been bought second hand, I, I just look out for it on eBay and wherever and you just come across it and you get really good professional equipment for 
not a lot of money. The ethos of the channel is underwater cinematography, so probably in future I'll not be doing many talking head videos. This was a specific request, I'm quite happy to oblige. So, hope you enjoyed it, found it useful. Uh, please consider liking and subscribing, comment, I'll try and get answers to all, any questions you've got. Thank you for watching. Bye.